What a big day for Australian cycling. You must be excited. Oh, I really am. Uh, you know, just to see the Orica Green Edge team, uh, you know, how they worked all day. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll put Simon on because he's got to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> he needs his sleep and then I, I can finish off the guys, if that's OK. Yeah, yeah of course sure. it is, Jerry. We'll do that. OK. G'day, Simon. Hello. Simon, Tony Leonard, congratulations, not only winning a, a stage, I think it's your first stage win in around five years, but being the first of what hopefully is many for Green Edge. Thanks very much, Tony. Yeah, hopefully uh, we're just getting... Um, actually, I'm sure we're just getting started with today's stage win. I'm sure we'll see many more to come. It, uh, all of us, we take an interest in at this time of the year simply because the coverage is fantastic, the scenery is beautiful, and your lungs are always close to bursting. Just take us take us through the stage and how everyone worked together that gives you the stage that gave you the stage win. Um, well, uh, the plan today was to have uh, a rider in the breakaway, and uh, Simon Clark managed to do that. He jumped up the road in the in the uh, uh, early attack, um, so we were riding defensive right from the, the start of the stage. And then basically, we knew uh, there was a good chance it was going to be a, a reduced peloton uh, sprinting for the win today. And uh, myself and and Daryl Impey were sort of planning to be a sort of in that final, in that final split, going for the win. So um, the likes of Stuart O'Grady, Brett Lancaster, and Sven Tuff, they were basically taking good care of us throughout the stage, getting us uh, drinks and and food when needed, and just protecting us uh, uh, out of the wind. Um, and then we got over the final climb, coming into the finish, and uh, uh, we caught uh, Simon Clark's group, and uh, also Cameron Meyer and Michael Albacini were there to. Um, to uh, reel back one last little breakaway and, and lead me out for the final, and I was able to, uh, you know, finish it off with a sprint win. So I'm going to ask Cadell Evans this question a couple of years back after you won the tour. Uh, he looked at me like I was an imbecile. You'll probably answer the same way. But <laughs> when you're actually riding, and we turn on the television and watch this unbelievable scenery, which Tony just alluded to, do you ever notice what is going on around you in terms of that scenery? Not really, no. No, you don't really get the opportunity to take in the scenery too much, actually. You're sort of really focusing on the on the job at hand and, and what's happening in the Palestine. But uh, uh, but it, fortunately, we were down in Corsica just last weekend just scouting out these stages, and we got to have a bit of a look around, and it is a really spectacular countryside. What do you get for a stage win? Is, is it a sash, or do you get some for better memento? I don't know. No, you get a bouquet of flowers and, uh, <laughs> and a bit of a trophy. Uh, and, no. But... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the recognition that you get for winning a stage at the Tour de France is, uh, is uh, fantastic. And have you pulled up personally any lactic acid build-up in the quads? You've uh, come through it OK? Oh, but it's only stage three. We've got, uh, we've got plenty more to come. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I've still got a few reserves in the tank ready for the next sort of two and a half weeks. Fantastic, Simon. Congratulations. Quick word, if we could, please, with Jerry before the 6.30 news. No problem. I'll pass the phone you back beauty. to you. Thank you very much. There Bye. we go. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, guys, um, no, uh, exciting day. Exciting. We've got 20 seconds to the 6.30 news. Just as it unfolded across the line, what was your immediate reaction, your immediate emotion, Jerry? Uh, excitement, uh, relief, uh, but, you know, we've finally got one uh, up and uh, it'll give the boys confidence to go on. <laughs>